Hi. Many years ago, in the Australian decimal currency system, one cent and two cent coins were used. This is what the one cent coin looked like, and the two cent. What we're going to do is look at some interesting number patterns using these two coins. For example, in how many ways can we make a total of one cent using only these two coins? And secondly, how many coins are needed to achieve that? Obviously to achieve a total of one cent, you must use just one coin, the one cent coin. And that means there's only one way of doing that and only one coin was used. What about if we want a total now of two cents using either or both of these two coins? There's one way where we use two one cent coins or we could use just a single two cent coin. So there are two different ways and there are three coins used altogether. Let's try the same thing to obtain a total of three cents and also how many coins will be needed. There's one way using three one cent coins using a one cent followed by a two cent using a two cent followed by a one cent notice that the order is important if we're using different coins so there are three ways altogether and a total of seven coins used let's move to a total of four cents what do you think one way four one cent coins two two cent coins two one cent coins followed by a two cent Again, the order is important. That's a total of five ways and 15 coins. Finally, let's try one to get a total of five cents. Notice that there are eight ways altogether and 31 coins in total required. Let's summarize the results we have so far. Here we have the totals that we require each time and in the middle column the total number of ways to obtain each of those totals do you notice any number pattern there in fact this one is a very special one very famous and it applies or appears in nature and in other applications do you know the name of this number pattern it is called the fibonacci sequence and you can see there that it starts with zero one and then each successive number is the sum of the two previous numbers. For example, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13, and so on. Can you see a pattern in those numbers? To obtain each successive number, you double and add 1 to the number. For example, 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3, 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7, two sevens plus one is 15 and so on. This is just a snapshot of the Fibonacci sequence. I urge you to research and find out some other interesting applications, especially another of my videos where we explore some of the more important number patterns of the Fibonacci sequence. Until next time, bye bye.